Hollywood, California, home of a religious order which keeps making headlines. The Immaculate Heart College was alive with highly trained, ambitious women. These ladies were kick-ass and kind of subversive. There was a big peace march, and the nuns in the school were marching with us. If you really believe something is wrong, put your body on the line. Good Catholics were not sending their daughters to Immaculate Heart because they felt it was a little dangerous. We certainly brought criticism from the Cardinal. That Cardinal was not going to put up with those uppity women. Cardinal McIntyre was very powerful in those days. He was the boss. The Immaculate Heart sisters drifted away from authority, and that was really the big problem. <gasps> they thought it was blasphemous. I think he viewed nuns as coolie labor for his schools. Sisters complained about the conditions of their jobs. The cardinal started censoring the faculty. There were legions of young nuns where all they felt was defeat. We said, we have to stand up and say, this is what we will do. Clearly, we were in a boat that needed desperately to be rocked. The Immaculate Heart Sisters taught me, you must follow your conscience, even if it goes against what the Pope himself has to say. There's a sense in which we've always been in trouble. <laughs> it was a marvelous statement of women. We did what we thought was right. We did it because we thought it was just.